Yeah, good morning. So I woke up early in the morning, went to the washroom, went to our blue. If you know our blue, if you went to France, you know what I'm talking about. Went to our blue after I brushed my teeth quickly, getting ready for work because I was very late. As you are seeing, Mesra, Mesra. I'm wearing my shoe, obviously, as you can see, obviously, I was very late, so I had to double up and chale, 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 I knew my boss would talk when I get to work, but still, you've got nothing to do, so yeah, as you can also see, I'm trying to double up, tacking in and all that, now then, cramming that crown to me, but I'll be no one should come and say I went to sleep somewhere and this and this, so please, I beg you, yeah, so... That is my small bands. I quickly went, moved the car outside, and then I decided to quickly come and close the gates. I was trying to call the my little sister to come and help me, but she wasn't around. So I quickly closed the gate, and uh, yeah, I think who took this one? I think yeah, my little sister later on came around, and yeah, she helped me close the gate. And as you can see, I'm on my way. Where is this? Where is this? I think this is a barnyard, or oh, it's not barnyard. Or oh, Kwashiman, I leave it to you guys. Where you think I've got into? That is where I've got into. Yeah, so that is where I got to, and I was driving. As you can see, Russia is in the morning, so obviously there is a lot of traffic in town and all that. So yeah, I think here I was at uh, where is this place? Where is this place? I think La Paz. Yeah, so I got to La Paz. I passed La Paz, heading towards the airport. Kotoka International Airport. That is where I work. And as I said, it's been so it's been so big. I'm tapping fluke half and I'm fluke half and so I'm a customer at the airport. And um, what else? What else? As you can see, we are still moving. I'm driving. I got to the N1. N1, 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 N1. Trying to overtake the cars a little bit. A little bit just to show that yeah, I'm driving here. Actually, I'm starting to drive here. I think I started driving when I was in JHS2, yeah. Yeah, JHS2, that was I think 2008. So just imagine BEC time, but I think some weeks before my BEC, that is when I started moving the car. Moving, moving. Later on, I'll tell you the episode of how I, 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 was, I used to steal my old man's car and try driving it. And funny enough, <laughs> it wasn't my dad's car, it was my dad's friend's car that he left at home in the name of his son. We we'll move the car and that he is traveling, so he's bringing it to our end. I hope you get what I'm saying. Our new mom, the brother, and say, you keep you know, oh, Papi, you can't only pack my big brother and I. Oh, you two car, no master, master, master. Okay, let's continue. So, as you can see, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving, I am moving, I am moving. This is getting towards Joel, and there's a surprise that will come after here, it will come soon. It will come soon, coming, coming, coming. So yeah, as you can continue seeing Jolo. Look at the surprise. Yay, so I got a train in my video. No one should go and screen record and use it all in his or a video. I beg you. That's a train. Mama mumu train dano wa kran. Mama baga na mumu train dano. Me train me hui hui hui. And if it actually came on, you know, a good time. You know, a time when I'm having my vlog. So yeah, heading towards the airport. This is a no go, no through go, massa. No whatever, whatever you you head. So yeah, that is the place. And I quickly got here. I got here. I was driving, heading towards work. This is a terminal two. Yeah, this is terminal two. I'm using the drive through around terminal two. So yes, as you can see, I'm moving. I am moving, I am moving, I am moving, I am moving. So yeah, this is the runabout. So if you are come, mostly you're supposed to come from the right side, yeah, to climb up to probably Terminal 3 or Terminal 2. But because I used, um, what was the name of the place? Shangri-La was it? Yeah, because I used Shangri-La, I, I passed the Polo Heights, yeah. There's a place called Polo Heights. So I used the Polo Heights side. That is why I was able to get here a little early or a little quicker because i was late so i had to double up and all that so yeah this is have you seen there's a plane on the right side that's called latante latante restaurant 
So I'm at the car park, I just slotted and then did I even slot? I just entered. However, whichever you understand, you know. So yeah. Customs, that's my pendant inside my car. I got to the car park, quickly parked, and I had to wear my tag and my whatever. How do you call it? A rank. A rank is, is not a rank, oh, please. But it's GRE. What is written there is called GRE. GRE. So, yeah. Because I'm on contract basis, on a normal day, the official officers, yeah, with my nice smiling. The official officers, yeah, so they'll have their ranks on them. So I entered work, that is me coming in, trying to hurry up and double up and go and sign in. That's one of uh, my, okay, that's one of my bosses. So this is our conference room, not conference room, our eating room actually, where we eat, we do co concert before the day starts. So that is where the whole place is. That's customs division, GRA customs division. That is our area. That is where we our job starts from. So basically, when you come here, we are supposed to check your bags to check. We are actually supposed to even open the bags to check if they are dutiable items. So these are some pilots who came in. They are supposed to sign. Their captain is supposed to sign. Then we have a, a, a space for them, which is called crew only. So that is where only the crew pass. No one else uses that side. It's just for the crew. Then they sign. And I think this flight was United Airlines. They came in and I'm the one there directing, director, director, director. So because I'm a good boy, I'm a very good boy, they always make me do the, the jobs that is like official people are supposed to do. You get what I'm saying? I hope you get what I'm saying. The official people are supposed to do. That's what they make me do. So I direct the, the passengers on who to go or which customers are to go so that he or she will be attended to. And if necessary, if we have to open the bags and check what's inside, and if, if there is any declaration the person is supposed to do, the person will quickly do it and know us. And also, you have to make us know your currency. There's currency declaration as well. So here's the air side. I don't know if here is, is allowed or is not allowed, but here's the air side. This is just a quick uh, something that I'm just showing you that the air side this is Ethiopia Airline flying. I think this flight, I don't really remember what flight is it, but it was packed in the air. So airside basically you go for what we call general declaration form and also manifest. So that was what I was trying to go for. Yeah, I think my day will be over soon. So this was in the evening when I was about leaving. And um, yeah, at, at another time you ask questions or as time goes on, you comment on what you want to know about customs, what you want to know about customs at the airport actually. In the comment section then i tell you so this is just a typical day a typical vlog my normal day going to work as you can see traffic ukofia traffic so yeah that is it oh, hope you guys enjoyed my video and also if i offended anyone in the name of posting it maybe showing some people's face and showing some videos i'm not supposed to show excuse me lad excuse me lad in dutch means I'm sorry. I beg you, I beg you. Uh. And uh, thank you very much. Feeling dank and uh, danke schön. So danke schön is thank you very much as well. Oh no, danke schön is thank you. Then you reply bitte schön. So yeah. So kindly subscribe and share and comment. Bye bye. <laughs>